Thank you, Adokasai. Uh, thank you. I hope everyone can hear me over there. Uh, thank you for distinguished guests to be here today. And uh, I appreciate that uh, everyone had the patience to uh, wait since we started a little bit behind. Uh, and uh, thank you for uh, supporting us in this uh, 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 event. So everyone has been talking about the uh, payment gateway and how good it is and all those different things, so I'm not going to repeat that. The two and a half years that uh, uh, since we started Amole, uh, it has been one, I don't want to use the word, uh, but uh, it was one quite an experience uh, journey. There is up and hills and down hills and it's like a roller coaster that uh, uh, we have mastered uh, through 10 years being in this uh, uh, environment. Uh, the most important thing is when we started, there was no digital payment instrument that we could use for payment. We envisioned from day one that we wanted to become a payment and commerce platform because we spent nine hard months with 80 people doing all around Ethiopia doing research for us. And what that research brought was very critical thing. Ethiopia is not a P2P market. It is a payment and a commerce. It's a big consumer market. So we needed to provide a payment and commerce platform. When we tried to do that, there was no payment instrument, so we had to create a payment instrument. We didn't have consumers, so we have to sign up consumers. We didn't have merchants, we have to sign up merchants. We didn't have products, we need to bring in merchants that do have digital products so that we could provide that capability for the payment. So when you look at other countries, whether that is uh, Kenya, our neighbor country Kenya, or you go and look at Nigeria or Egypt or South Africa and all those uh, different countries, they have a big advantage over us. What they have is basically is the infrastructure, the foundation, all those different things is already there. So when a FinTech goes into market, in day one, in day 60, in day 90, they are already... They or hello. They already uh, get the uptake because the foundation, the infrastructure is all there. In our case, the infrastructure, we have to build it while we are trying to get the uptake, while we are trying to create transaction, while we are trying to also expand uh, in terms of offerings, in terms of products and services. So this last two and a half years, although that we had the great vision in terms of payment and commerce platform, we had to do a lot of heavy lifting in terms of making this thing happen. Our vision, uh, it was clear from day one, and for us to be able to make this thing happen, it was not a Herculean effort on just on ourselves, but we had to bring in partnership. Partnership is very important, because everyone that brings in their core competency to the partnership table will get something out of it. And at the end, this pie is so big that no matter how many partnerships you bring in into the table, we can still make things happen. And it's a lot easier doing it that way because otherwise we have to reinvent the wheel. Reinventing the wheel when you are at a disadvantage, when Kenya is 13 years, 14 years ahead of us, when uh, South Africa is two decades and three decades ahead of us, Nigeria 15, 20 years ahead of us, we have to leapfrog. And the only way we can leapfrog is by partnership, by bringing in something that has already been done somewhere. That partnership should be something that we incorporate into our offering. And that approach has helped us build Amole quickly, fast, and secure way. And this partnership is one of them with Visa International. And when we looked at Payment Gateway, we've been talking about Payment Gateway for Ethiopia for the last four years, before we even uh, launched uh, Amole. But at that time, the cost and everything was cost prohibitive in order to even think about it. Now, uh, after so many uh, years and the uh, outlook in terms of uh, Ethiopia's uh, future digital uh, transformation, 
all these different things brings different players into the market. And by having those people into the market, it has helped us put together a business model that would work with everyone. And again, through partnership, we, are, we have been able to uh, launch this uh, uh, digital payment gateway. So one thing I would uh, say is that the future for Amole is bright. Uh, so far, we have uh, enlisted more than 2 million customers, uh, consumers. We have over 8,000 merchants. We have a total payment value transacted in our platform of 7.8 billion bur, which is about 215 million dollars. Huge achievement. While we are doing heavy lifting in terms of doing a lot of other things uh, in order to make things happen. From here on, there is so many different things that has happened in the last 12 months, including the different uh, regulation proclamations and all those different things that have uh, been passed that gives us the ability to leapfrog now the competition or uh, the other countries that have uh, gone before us. So what has taken Kenya 13 years, maybe in Ethiopia we can do it in two, three years. And I think that is doable. So with that said, I would like to thank everyone for coming today. And uh, I would like to thank those audiences that are online today that are supporting us. And thank you very much for uh, being here. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Yamuru. We really appreciate you for delivering this interesting speech. We appreciate it. Thank you very much.